Valileo. You are inmate 1764. Welcome to Hades. You have been reported to paddle in the zoo. I repeat, you have been reported to paddle in the zoo. I've always been a huge fan of science fiction and sci-fi movies, uh, Blade Runner, Alien. These are all movies that I grew up watching, and so that was sort of the way I wanted to take the movie, and that's the aesthetic I wanted to take the prison. I wanted to go sort of Ridley Scott with it. Uh, he's one of my favorite directors, and I felt like it'd be fun to sort of play on that motif, and again, it was just polar opposite from the first movie and do something really different. Now we have Breslin, who is, we find now is running his own company. Uh, and he has a group of guys working for him. We are uh, security specialists, and, and the, the, the film starts off with us getting people out of this um, hostage situation. Let's go, let's go! Where the hell were you? I was uh, trying to prove my design with algorithms and machines and equations to basically mathematically prevent risk. Um, and I was trying to showboat in a little way and, and somebody ends up getting killed. Uh, I play Luke Walken. He's sort of the, the new guy to uh, Breslin's security team. He's definitely very eager to prove himself and prove himself as a team player and very willing to put himself in harm's way for the good of the team. And he, tends to get himself in trouble because he's, you know, so eager to sort of be a hero and save the day. Ray Breslin's outsourcing people now. He's not going into places and doing himself. He's having people do it for him. And um, something happens to a couple of these team members. One of them goes rogue. Some of his main guys get kidnapped and they're taking him to this place called Hades and Breslin's got to go in and get them out. Breslin has to go into this new prison called Hades and get them out, but this whole new prison has a whole new twist to it. It's not a ship, it's, it's something else. I play Abigail and she's Sly's right hand. She will always have his back, whether he wants to be in or out. He's like, you know, like a, someone leaving the military saying, oh, I'm gonna go live a civilian life. But she knows that he can't do that because that's what he loves. I think the relationship between Jasper and Breslin is a father-son type dynamic. I think he really looks up to Breslin and ultimately wants his approval. I just want to get Breslin's attention. I want him to see that he was wrong and that I was actually doing a good job. You know, with the rest of the team, it's kind of that Cain and Abel relationship where he's, he sees them as the brothers that he wants to um, outperform, outshine, to, to prove that he's better than. Well, I think that Luke sort of looks at Stallone's character, Breslin, as, as a mentor, somewhat of a father figure. He's definitely trying to, to prove himself and prove that he adds value to the, uh, to the team. Shu and Luke are more, more friends, more peers, even though Luke definitely looks up to Shu as well as somewhat of a mentor. And I think that's what ultimately causes Luke to sort of impulsively go out on his own and try to find Shu and, and rescue him. And in the process, he gets captured himself and finds himself in this maximum security prison. 他因为父母是被杀害的，所以他其实有很多的痛苦在心里边。但是他没有说出来，然后他很聪明，然后也很酷，智商是非非常高的那种。他是一个非常英雄的角色，他在他在绝望当中也从来没有想到过放弃，一
Steven and I both, both worked with Dave. This is my third film, Steven's second. Fantastic, solid guy. Actually, he was all giddy about meeting Stallone. I remember the first scene they did together. The first scene I shot with him was we were just sitting to have a very brief conversation in the car. And one of the first things I said to Sly was that, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna fanboy out on you today. I'm gonna save the questions for another day, you know, get to know each other a little bit. And then after he did his scene, he just sort of said, yes, that was my first scene with Sylvester Stallone. You know, that was fun. Stallone's amazing. Uh, I've worked with a lot of people and he's definitely one of the best. He knows exactly what he wants. It's unreal to be working on him with a fight scene uh, because, you know, you're sitting there and you're watching a legend fighting and punching. You know, you really kind of lose yourself because the guy is so good at what he does. Seeing Rocky do his thing, seeing Rambo do his thing, well, it was, it was awesome. I mean, you know, you're holding up the camera, you're like, holy shit, it's Rocky Balboa, but wait a minute, you're like, oh, that's Sylvester Stallone. No, no, he has to do this. So it, it was a dream and, and it was, couldn't be a nicer guy. Because史泰龙对上戏我都觉得已经是我的幸运了，因为史泰龙是我小的时候看的第一部好莱坞电影。其实应该是我第一次进电影院看电影，然后看的就是这部好莱坞大电影，就是《第一滴血》，而且能够